So let's move on to something else that, was, that, that really intrigued me. One of the things we talked about the other day uh, was we talked about, uh, I'm just going to put it for lack of a better word, an organized religion. Mm -hmm. And we, we had a conversation about organized religion. Oh, we're going down the rabbit hole We're now. going down the rabbit hole because oh, okay. that's the name of the show. So we, so, but what I want to do is uh, not use this topic as a way to beat up on the people that don't believe traditional thought, but to educate people. So that because I, I feel like if we educate people, then we can have a better conversation. Mm -hmm. And then we can kind of help each other solve problems. So there are, so I'm going to break this up in, in, in two sections here. There is a thought in the, I'm a devout Christian for full disclosure. I'm a devout Christian. I believe mm -hmm. some things that are about, but I also recognize, especially in the minority community, there's some things that's imbalanced. And I think that the opposing views of it actually answer those but I dare not say that to a bunch of other people because they then they think they say you crossing over so mm -hmm. I, I, I I congratulate for you for being able to speak that to me in a way that made me feel not threatened but made me kind of curious mm -hmm. there's a view that there's a perfect being okay what do you where, where do your views uh, set on quote unquote the perfect being we'll start from there not even touching touch religion that there ultimately is a perfect being. What do you what do you think about that? Well, I certainly know that no man created the trees, the mountains, the 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 building blocks of whatever science or creativity mankind has expressed himself has I know man has never created that. <laughs> okay, so, right, you right, know, right. it's like uh it's like that big bang thing where uh uh they can't even explain where the bang came from. <laughs> and you know, if you blow up a, if you go in the woods and blow up the forest a, a billion times, will you right. ever get a house? <laughs> that's right. You know? That's right. That's so, right. And, and, that's right. And um, of course, I confided to you, I guess, mm -hmm. everybody else now that I'm very non-religious, mm -hmm. but I very, I count myself as a spiritual person. So, so let me clarify that. I think that when people hear that. They automatically go into a mindset that okay, this guy's atheist, but that's not true because, in my uh, understanding of what you have said to me and things that I've heard in the past, what that actually means is I'm skeptical of man's organization of this thing, right? That you're skeptical. I think that's an understatement. Okay, well, tell me about it. Can you expand on well, it? Well, you know, actually, I have three books that are okay, going to come about. out in a. Mm -hmm. Maybe next year. I, okay. I've done tremendous research because uh, I've always had a thirst for knowledge sure. and okay. um, spiritual expression as well. Mm -hmm. And I was raised up in a um, faith that uh, that really did well for me. You know, I was raised up with Jehovah's Witness. Okay, and, good. Um, yeah. I really um, appreciate how I was raised up, yeah. Yeah. and I love the friends mm -hmm. in the faith. You know, I'm still you know friends with. It's just that, and if I had to do a religion personally. I would never go to any religion but Jehovah's Witnesses. But there's a caveat. Okay. And I had to just be honest with myself. And according to my research, I could just cut to the chase. Um, all major religions have been infiltrated. Okay. So, so now, so let me go to the next point. So, on that point, when you say infiltrated, does that mean infiltrated by the truths that it tell? Or infiltrated by the organization that has been put together because of it. Well, in my research, it, it categorically shows that you can't have a major mega church or a major religion unless you're connected with the uh, higher um, degrees of, in the Masonic. Okay, so let's talk um, about that. So that, that that won't be off topic from where I want to go. So let's talk about what you mean by that when you said that. Well. Um, any major mega church that you see, maybe see on TV or mm -hmm. in your neighborhood as major, almost invariably that person that got their start was connected in a Masonic organization. Okay, you say that, and your reason for saying that, you have some specific reason for saying that. There's, there's a reason why you, there's something that sparked you to say that and be great confident, because you're a confident guy. 
So there's something that made you say that, because that's actually a harsh cri criticism. Yeah. What made you say that? There's something that you don't mind talking about that, uh, that made you allude to that state, that direct statement. Well, first I had to, once I found out that, wow, you know, people like Billy Graham, people like, you know, other people that I won't mention that currently, sure. that uh, all of them were um, either openly or secretly Masonic. And then when you then say, okay, well, what does that mean? I didn't know, you know, so I had to research that and at the higher degrees of the Masonic, see the lower Masonic people, they be like, oh, he don't know what he's talking about, but they purposely keep the lower people in the Masonic organization in the dark, but as the higher degrees you go, the more is revealed to you. Do you think that, okay, so I guess, I guess the next question for me would be, do you think that that they're part of that intentional or is it unintentional? It's almost like what I'm saying is sometimes we don't recognize that we're part, for, just take myself for instance, if people call me a Christian, I'm okay with that. I, I got another word I like to use, but if they call me Christian, mm -hmm. but if they call me a Protestant or Catholic, I say, whoa, 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 wait. You know what I'm saying? There's a distinction I want to right. make sure we draw. So do you think that people intentionally are part of this Masonic levels or is it unintentional, just, just by the way of the way they practice or the way they do things? The masses of people are generally speaking sincere. Generally speaking, now, okay. there's plenty yep. of people that yep. want to get their ears tickled. Sure, Timothy, sure. Brian, sure. Now, that's true. You know, they uh, rank teachers for themselves to yeah, have yeah. their ears yep. tickled. Yeah, I was mentioned in the description. And there's got plenty of churches and organizations that tickle people's ears. People but, know that. And I think with the, even the Christians are quite aware of what you're saying is true. Oh, so, yeah. You know, yeah. every religious organization mm -hmm. has that, mm -hmm. you know. But the thing is, is that the leadership, you can't get in the high leadership um, as far as running the organization without having those connections. So, now, let me say this. Because there are some of us that are, I'll just say, intellectually savvy. We kind of know what we're being tricked and we can kind of move through those things. I don't think too many people disagree with that. No. I think that what you, the, at least the line you just used, has a way of having, we can have a conversation about that, but I think that what happens sometimes is people jump off of that and jump way to something, and no, 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 stay here. If we have a conversation about that, that actually starts solving some issues in our community, and we'll talk a little bit about that later, but when you say that they are part of these communities and they do these things, case in point, um, I, I'm a firm believer of what the government says in, in mixing religion and uh, um, the non mixture of religion and politics. And here's why. Because if I'm in a dominant group, for instance, the Detroit is heavily Arabic, and thereby the community, that, that the makeup of it, would seem to be mostly Muslim. Mm -hmm. Do I want the Muslim city hall making judgments about me based on their religion? No. So this should be the same across the board. When we have leaders who jump in with the politicians, they verify your point. You're going like this. There's no way they could have got there unless they're all part of the same right. organization, right? They are, and they really are. Okay. And, and plus, um, the rabbit hole gets deeper. Okay. As you learn the uh, tenets of high-degree masonry, they, uh, they talk about God, but their God is not Yahweh. Correct. <laughs> all right. Yep. Other, uh, Ancient Israel, <laughs> right, like, right. it's just a whole nother right. thing too because the, symbolism uh, right. and symb and symbolics. Is something you were saying, so just to bring it up, uh, uh, Karl Marx believed, and this is it's funny you saying this, Karl Marx believed that religion, organized religion, is almost intoxicating like a narcotic for the people that are on top to drug the people to say, okay, I'll take the pain, and it's intoxication for the people on the bottom to say, ah, well, we don't have to do more than what we're doing. It's okay for him to take control of us. It, 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 does that sound about Well, what religion is a tool of mass mind control, okay. flat out, because it's a legislative enactment of spiritual expression, quote-unquote, okay, okay. allegedly spiritual expression. So the thing is, is that um, that's why, like, Catholicism and organizations like that, 
they have a tremendous lot of power over the move. They have even uh, been involved in wars and correct um, things like that. So correct, you know, I'm not just trying to pick on Catholicism. That's just in the same. It, it's just the way it is, and yeah, that's right. the truth. Mm -hmm. I mean, we we talk about the uh, Muslim brothers who most we got friends that we love that we that's hold dear to us that are Muslim. And in fact, I'll just say our communities right now. Right now, as we speak, are being saved by a lot of Muslim brothers mm -hmm. and sisters because some of the Christians are falling back on that. That being said, even though they seem to be the corpus of the present day wars, not long ago, it was the Protestants and the Catholics who were doing that. And so, again, proving another point you just had. And, well, and, and, and it, go ahead. Um, the, the rabbit hole is so deep because if I. The reason why I'm speaking in these kind of terms, because a lot of times people they can't deal with the truth. If Correct. they hear it, just flat out what the Correct. truth is. If Correct. I just sat here and just said exactly <laughs> right. what my yeah. years of research prove, right? And right. these are um, documentations from all kind of organizations, whether it's um, the Catholic Church, whether it's Masonic, Correct Temple, Correct, whether it's Islamic documentation and whatnot. But uh, I really am Implore people to just uh, do your research and, and learn how to read between the lines because uh, we have been lied to as uh, uh, humanity. Humanity, and I, I'm glad you put it that way because here again, the conversation gets lost when we say blacks, when we say we've been lied to as, but when we say humanity, and again, as a devout Christian, the way it was brought to us is another show. We'll talk about that. But again, do you understand the conversation we're having? It's one we actually need to have in the body of, of Christ or the, or, the, or the Muslims. We need to have these conversations so we can get rid of the doubt. But there's a lot of doubt because a lot of people are going like this. He got some truth. But if I do that, I'm going to hell. That's not true. Well, it, I, I have all kind of documentation. I have Muslim friends. Oh, do you, well, you do believe in hell? I'm like, no, I don't. Um, they say, well, you believe in God, don't you? They're like, yes, I do. Oh, okay, well, you're all right. As long as you believe in God, you won't go to hell. <laughs> yes, right. I've that's had right. That's right. Christian and Muslim people tell me this, but it's, I have all kind of documentation that categorically proves that the doctrine of hellfire was created by the Catholic Church. So the experiential, so we talk about that since you're there. The, the belief that the religion is good based on some religious stories put together by you know all these multiple of individuals uh, including uh, uh, prophet prophet Muhammad God bless his soul and then Jesus Christ and then you know Timothy and then you know we can go on and on and on Barabbas and all those other people so now what I'll say to you is this because of the testimony that's why a lot of people stay there Mm -hmm. Because if it's a tr you said something earlier about people are what serious or people are legitimate. Some people are legitimate. Yeah, they're sincere. Sincere. They have sincere. Belief. In my walk, in Some my people. walk, mine is just from what I've been through. I gave up, and I wrote in the first book, the way forward. I gave up off of somebody else's t testimony. That don't mm -hmm. work for me because it didn't make me stay. I was ready to leave. But from the things that I have gone through, that's what made me stay where I'm at. I'm not opposed to leaving if I find that it's not true, but so mm -hmm. far it's helped me. That being said, what do you say to the people that legitimately tell you, hey, I came there through my own testimony and because I've asked God to do this for me and show me this and show me that. What do you say to people uh, who said they're in a real specific religion because of that reason? Well, these are... Uh Religious organizations can and do positive things a lot of times. You know, let's say the black church, for instance. <laughs> okay. Uh, a, a, a social networking, community building, and all that. It certainly can do that. It can do that. Does it always? No. But it can do that. So that's why I don't denigrate people who they express their faith in the higher power through that medium. Okay. You know, so I'm not knocking anybody for that, but it's funny is these same people that um, are supposed to be Christians, Muslims, whatever, Jews, <laughs> whatever, or Buddhists, or whatever, these same people, 
because you're not religious, but you spiritual, they they want to condemn you. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, there's a there's a thought that ethical behavior cannot uh, be prescribed prescribed to unless of a religion. And that's the that's the that's the trick of religion because that's, think, think about it. Uh, if you does God need to coerce anybody to worship God? I know that's that's you know. It is it, my um, should my spiritual expression and appreciation for the higher power that created this world and universe should that be legislated by another man? No, no. I actually have a thesis paper on it. I'm going to publish on the website ebsmithmedia.com, and I and then I wrote that before I even met you. And in my research, I've discovered some things that, that talks about that. And to sell the person hell, let's just take because we are black, we can't ignore that. Minor yeah, for minorities very, point, <laughs> right? Very, <laughs> very close to it, right. right? The minority has suffered more under religion mm -hmm. than government. Right? Can we agree with I, that? I'll have to agree with that because the religion is more tied to your psyche. You know, the slave mentality. Mm -hmm. Oh, you be a good slave and when you die you get to heaven. Yeah. So you can serve us. <laughs> In heaven, yeah. you know that kind yeah. of stuff. And so, what do you, what do you think? Okay, so so let's get some information out. It's okay that we have this conversation, even though we we don't man. I totally agree with some core things. Where do you think that people should get uh, information? So at, at the minimum, they understand what you're talking about. Is there some places? Do you post it on? Do you have a website, or do you have um, an encyclopedia, do you have something? Where do you think, because I mean, you said, hey, they need to go research for themselves. Oh my God, my, I have tons of research, so I couldn't really say one spot, but I would just say, look at the origins, the beginnings of your religion on all okay. religions. That's fair, that's fair. Look at the origins, and then once you find out the origins, and you're like, wow, these, all these religions come from the same place. The same place. Then you gotta look, start going further down the rabbit hole, and um, see how they operate it now. You know what I'm saying, and yeah. why. Yeah. And then once you do that, you just gotta do it for yourself, cause you know, it, it, any religion that tells you you can't love your family if they don't have the same religious beliefs. Yeah. That's not yeah. spiritual. That's any not. religion that goes to war tells you to go to war against another country, against other people of your same so-called faith. That's so, not spiritual. So, so let me let me put this in there. It's quite possible, isn't it quite possible, that it's not the religion that dictates that? It's the perception of the religion. So, in other words, I know Sunni Muslims that are some of the most, the best people you want to be around. That's one in this community I think they have done more work just in, in, in since I've known them then I know of any pastor, and I've been some pastor for 30 years. Mm -hmm. But there are some Muslim thought, because it, it is just the biggest one right now we're talking about, that believe just what you said. If they're not Muslim, let's kill them. That's their interpretation of the same Quran that I've looked at and read myself. I'm like, well, this doesn't even say that in there. Where are they getting this from? Is it quite possible that it's not the religion that dictates that? It's actually the person and the perception of what the religion teaches? That could be the case at times, but the religion fosters the mentality. You say it fosters, so you mean it sets up the environment? Well, because they want people to be loyal to their group. The, the powers that be in these religious groups, they want the people to be loyal to their group. Why do they want them to be loyal? Because they want their um, resources. Their okay, so. Resource. All right, so if, if I say to you that if you had someone that you were assisting and they say look I don't want you to be my religion but I at least want you to be my advisor to make sure that I do what's best for the community mm -hmm. which is fair right because a lot of people have people on their boards and even in the government that does not they only believe the same thing but they just support them and they said anything that I do that don't support the community you tell me so if they come in there and they say give give tithe but give tithe because the church needs. The church got a like, life bill pay. Here's the real. Here's the pack. We'll just write it out. Okay, that's what we need. Uh, let's give money to get to the homeless. And uh, Sister Susie's going hungry. Let's give to her. But then at the same time, they say, okay, let's take another tenant. 
uh, you got to ch come to church on Sunday. He said, well, if you can't make it Sunday, at least make it Saturday so we can worship together as a community and, and feed off each other. If you had an organization that did that, what would you say about that organization? I would say that's a uh, mechanism of mass mind control because the thing is, um, the person could have that runs that could have great intentions, but it's still a a method of mass mind control. It's, 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 you're controlling masses of people for what you want and couching it in quote unquote uh, doctrinal terms. So people are. By definition, because it's an organization, because it's a method of mass mind control, they're gonna feel compelled. Okay, so what? What? So what's the difference between a church and the Red Cross? Well, a church is something that, uh, like I said before, they they have a legislative uh, setup to uh, orchestrate people's spiritual expression. Okay, but the the work of the Red Cross with a a decent church can be the equivalent to the same work of the church. What, what every intention? Because I'm just be honest with you, I won't touch churches that are like what you just said. Mm -hmm. I won't go nowhere near them. And I got friends that pastor them. Won't touch them. Um, before I join them, I look at these things, and you know whether you doing uh, you you asking you asking you're asking you're not putting on in if they can feel guilty for people to help people in Brazil. Haiti's got a problem right now. Haiti and you saying do that and people give and they go they go out the door and go give and then you don't even tell them what to give those are the only organizations that I want to be part of because that means that we all in this together we're gonna to do it together the Red Cross there are Red Crescent I can't leave them out and a lot of the organizations are set up exactly like a church mm -hmm. with a head an executive director in essence in essence the church has become the micro version of that inside of our communities or should be Mm -hmm. What do you say to that? What do you say to that? Well, the Red Cross, even though it has religious origins, <laughs> it does. It has religious it origins, but has morphed itself into more of a secular entity because of the reasons. Because of that, they don't right. scare people and say so. Help you. That's the main difference because it's the Red Cross. If you volunteer for the Red Cross, you're not being um, your spiritual expression is not being you're not being proselytized. Right. right. It's not it's not being um, dictated. Right, dictated is not you're not being indoctrined. It's not doctrinal. Nice. Okay. It's a secular thing. Okay. So that's a huge difference. A church may be doing similar activities as the Red Cross, but it's a doctrinal undertone. Right, right. And exactly and, 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 and just every psychiatrist, psychologist knows about mind control. Mm -hmm. Period. So, you know, and, and, and then you know the people get so caught up in this fanaticism, religious fanaticism, that they do all kind of evil and mean things in the name of their faith. Yeah, and it, so so here's what I'll say by closing that conversation out. It is a rabbit hole. <laughs> it's funny. We you, haven't even touched. We it. haven't touched it. So let me let me. The rabbit hole is something we use here to say that we're not scared to go down. I'm not scared to have a conversation with this. this is my brother. I mean, this guy has been. Uh, a more of a blessing to me than folks I know that speak in tongues. A big, bigger blessing to me and I appreciate him so I can say some things about him with great certainty that he said, he believes what he says, but he also believes in the community. So that being no said, doubt, no doubt. and you proved it, I mean from the way, your work, your work proves it. You don't need to go toot your own horn and put on a collar and scream and holler in the middle of the street. Your work proves that. And even my Bible tells me you would know them from the fruit fruits that That's they right. bear. That's scripture that right. teaches me that. Um, I think it's more on the perception of the individual. That's why. It's a, and so that's why I'm gonna disagree with you. Yet. I think it's more on the individual. But who, who's the individual? See, you're talking about the the uh, the masses, the people that attend. If correct me if I'm wrong. I'm talking about the leadership. No, 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 now, now we won't, we won't. I don't think we'll have too much disagreement with that. Now, I'm, I'm telling you, we'll do a show. We're gonna actually have. I'd like to have religious leaders together, and we're gonna have this conversation and how they differ from each other. And you'll find that most of them are have some of those same traits. The rabbit hole, incidentally, the word rabbit hole, incidentally, was a metaphor used by Lewis inside of the Alice in Wonderland. 
But the undertone of the different things inside was because there, were, there was a mathematic thought at that time, during that century. Cons symbolism is mathematic symbols and is not symbols. He wrote that book to actually premise a point about mathematics. He didn't write it because it was a wonderful story, even though some of the, the biography says he wrote it because he thought it was a wonderful story. <laughs> but there were a lot of arguments put in the book with Alice and one Alice going down this rabbit hole. There was a lot of uh, mathematic undertones in there that was based in an argument with Euclidean and all these other things. And the reason why I brought that up is in every organization, whether it be the government, whether it be the religion, there will always be or tend to be the ability of man to influence people to what they believe. So in that part, I won't disagree with that. I won't well, disagree I, with that. I would say it's beyond even that. The ability to influence people to act in accordance with a doctrine that they don't even believe themselves. And so in, 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 in Toxic People, I wrote one of the worst things is for people to have to use something you love or connected to to get you to do what they want to do. So again, we don't disagree. I think that the verbiage of how we express those in closing, in closing, if you have more info, you want any more information about that, um, uh, go to the website ebsmithmedia.com or ebsrealtalk at gmail.com. Put some questions in there. Let me know what you're thinking. Maybe you don't agree with me at all. Maybe there's some things about what I've said you don't like or uh, my brother here who really has a heart for the people. So if you give me any comments that makes me seem like you're heading that way, we won't even discuss those. But I, I, really, I think he would like to hear what you have to say and maybe have a better discussion about this. But in closing, I'll say this. We have to start taking control of our lives, whether it be our skills, whether it be our mind. So then when you ask me about my certain tenet, that I don't reach back to a phraseology that was used by the nun or by the pope or even by a, a, a conservative or Democrat. By the slave master who gave you a religion in the first place. Right. So. I'm going to reach into something in my soul mm -hmm. to give you, whether you agree with it or not, I'm going to say, that's the best I have. And if we start doing that, then we all, even though we're in our churches or even, you know, our you know, lecture halls, we can come together at the end of the week and say, look, I don't believe what you believe, but we need to help this community. We're so caught up in the mind control part of it that I would look at him and go, he ain't coming up here with me. There's a rule here at Dream Studios that if they're going to come up here and spew religion over this microphone, I don't want them up here. Right. Because this is for the people. This is not some great cash bank for me. I want this to be for the people. And if I start spewing that, then I start closing the door to my people. And I'm not doing that. Well, that shows wisdom on your part because what everybody needs to come together we mentioned humanity yeah we focus on black issues because we see what's going on with black people or at least that what the media is trying to promote sure and the media is trying to promote division sure race hatred sure they're trying to promote homosexuality which i'm not saying treat anybody bad or anything like that i'm just saying they're trying to promote that they're you can see promote that. things they want they want to um zero population growth they want to um they're putting stuff on whole cities water supply to um, they have a catalyst. I, I had a research on all this. Mm -hmm. Give us a, give a close statement in. overall. What mm -hmm. you want the people to know, not just about you. Give them a food for thought before we get out of here. Give them a food for thought on what you want them to believe or think or act. How should they act? Well, I'm not going to sit there and try to tell somebody what you have to believe, especially in any doctrinal religious sense. All I got to say is, hey, we all have to really have love and show it and mean it and really mean it from the heart so like that uh parable that's in the bible with the good samaritan <laughs> yeah the uh the person who was laid out on the road all them jews and pharisees and whatever walked right over them but the jews were very prejudiced against the samaritans yeah. and they didn't treat them right but this samaritan took of his own money to house this man in the inn and um took care of this man who was a part of a, a, a ethnic group that treated his group bad. That's love. See, and, and, and ultimately, 
this racing is so stupid and we all have to just try to raise all of ourselves up to a higher spiritual plane if we raise ourselves to a higher spiritual plane there'll be no need for a religion because we'll all be expressing our love for the creator because of our love well you heard it here um I won't give you the disclaimer that some shows give you the views and stuff expressed here, no. I stand by everything we say here, and if you don't agree with it, I'm sorry. Uh, let me hear what you have to say. Maybe I'll put you on the show and uh, we're going to have a debate about it. This has been EB's Real Talk. I like to hear what you have to say. It's not about me. It's not about him. It's about you. Let's go down a rabbit hole together. Peace. See you next time. Hey there, brothers and sisters. This is EB Smith. Real Talk is me helping you. By giving you information, I know you will be inspired to be a greater you. And with a greater you, our communities are better and our world is better. But I want to reach more people. To do that, I need your help. Will you subscribe and share my videos? Tell everyone what we're talking about here on Real Talk. Another way to partner with me, donate $1. That's donating just $1. Go to PayPal. And send EBS Real Talk at gmail.com. Go to PayPal, donate one dollar, send EBS Real Talk at gmail.com. Since we don't like the world we live in, let's change it together. Thank you. Writing a book can be daunting, but once you get past the daunting, it's always the cost of getting it published. And many times that usually hold people up from doing it. Uptown Publishing is offering supporters of EB's Real Talk a wonderful opportunity to have their books published for only $250. That's 75% of the regular standard publishing package price. You supply the book cover art, a synopsis of your book, and your pre-edited manuscript. And here's what you'll get. 100% control of your book, 100% profits from your book, and your own dashboard. That's $250, which is 75% of a regular standard price. 100% of control of your book, 100% of profits. If you're interested in it, go to UptownMediaVentures.com. Go to UptownMediaVentures.com and go to the Contact Us page and put in EB's Real Talk. Or mention EB's Real Talk via email at UptownLiterary at gmail.com. That's UptownLiterary at gmail.com. Congratulations to all of you, to your future as an author.